talk about the Matrix, I'm talking about the systems which have been created by society, which are deliberately designed to enslave. In the movie, the Matrix were used for our body heat, but here in, in this Matrix, we're used for our efforts and our energies. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. Yeah. And for you can sit there and get upset about it. You can sit there and cry about it and say the system needs to change, which is what some people do, socialists, X, Y, Z. But I think that's not I think. I know that's a waste of time, right? That's futile. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. So, yes, the game is rigged. Yes, the richer are always going to get richer. Yes, the poor are always going to struggle. And that's the way the game is set up. So you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I want to play a different game because that's never going to happen. Because the people with the money are the people who have the control and they have the power. And why would they have the game set up any other way? Why would they change it? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's also the basic of economics. I think a lot of people don't understand the true basics of economics. And the basics of economics state that even giving money to the poor, it ends up back in the hands of the rich. There's no way to stop the rich getting richer. I've already explained this before, but... I remember during COVID when they did the stimulus checks and they passed out all this free money to everyone, a thousand. In England, they gave a lot more money, but in America, everyone got like $1,400 each and everyone was happy about it saying, oh, he's giving money to the poor. Yeah, but what do those poor people spend that money on? They either, well, Amazon stock tripled yep. because they all went to Amazon. Yep. So Jeff, Be well. Jeff Bezos got richer, yeah. right? But the fact is that there's less companies than there are people. All those $1,400 checks amongst all those people at the bottom ended up getting, ended up in the hands of a few companies and the rich got richer, and you can't stop it. Mm. doesn't matter if those people invested their money. doesn't matter if they bought stocks. doesn't matter if they bought crypto. doesn't matter if they bought a house, whatever. The people who have the assets and have the companies and have the control are always going to end up getting control of the currency, and they're always going to be richer. So yeah. that's kind of how it works. And it's getting worse and worse. It's have-nots and have y'all.